All right, next up, we are going to um, set a visibility parameter for this uh, feature, basically. We're going to, like, we're showing the projection of the hopper window, and we're going to basically put a toggle on. But you guys need to know a little bit, again, about the terminology that we were just speaking about. Okay, there's, there are families, and there are types. Okay, so um, when, uh, let me, well, anyway, let's, let's get into it, and then I'll show you how how that matters, okay? So highlight all three of these lines. And uh, they're, they're, um, what I, where's, hang on. Hang on a second. Something's different. Just a moment. All right, um, okay, sorry. I just got confused about something. So um, select all three of these lines and uh, we're gonna look over at the uh, graphics panel. Okay, um, the graphics panel has uh, a couple of parameters. One of them says uh, visible and it has a checkbox. Um, and then visibility and graphic overrides. Uh, what I want you to focus on is that visible row. Um, it, I don't want you to be confused about the checkbox here. Okay, so if I uncheck that, then those things are not going to be visible um, in that family. Um, so what I want you to do is hit this little button on the right hand side. It's really, really tiny. I know it's really hard to see. And this is one of those weird like Revit things where they just kind of assume you know what it is. Um, when you click it, it opens up the family parameter menu for line type items. Um, so, so this, right now it says none. We need to create a parameter for it. So I'm going to check this little new um, parameter button there. And it opens up this. Okay, this is the more common universal parameter menu, um, or, or prompt, uh, yeah, menu, whatever. Uh, so basically, there are, um, and we're not going to go over shared parameters yet. We're going to just look at family parameters. But I do want you to know that a shared parameter is something that embeds into your project that many families can use. And a family parameter is a, a parameter that is assigned to that family only, OK? It, might not make a lot of sense to you yet, it will in the future, okay? But we're assigning a parameter to this family. Um, there are, again, another two different types that you can, uh, uh, two different settings that, that you can use, and that's uh, the type and instance, okay? A type parameter will apply to that family type. Does that make sense? Like, like uh, if I have a, 24 by 36 window, this parameter will assign, like, will control settings for that type only, not the whole family. I want to be sure that that's clear. Um, and then additionally, there's an instance parameter. So an instance parameter is something that will apply to that one window, right? So you can select it in your model, that one window, and you can say, I want this uh, dash line to be shown on this one window. So we need to kind of make a decision. Do we want it to apply to a type, like our uh, two foot tall and three foot wide window, which is where we want it, and all of those windows have this, or do I want to just individually select them? So the one thing that I, I am looking at the plans and sort of just kind of browsing around for what's what, I don't think I want it to be a type parameter because I see what looks like a three foot window here that has it, and then this looks like a three foot window, but it has something else. So I, you know, I think I'm just going to make it an, an instance parameter um, for now. And there might other, there might be other windows that that just don't have anything at all. I'm not sure, so I'm going to do an instance parameter. Um, let's get back into Revit. I'm going to call this one um, um, Hopper projection. Okay, and I'm going to change it to instance parameter. Um, the stuff that you see below here, it's a discipline type of parameter and then um, where the parameter is grouped. You can't change the discipline or type right now because it's specific to the visibility of an element. Um, meaning, like, you're, you're either going to see it or you're not. So it has to be a yes, no type. Um, and then again, we can change like where we want it to show in the parameters here. So if you look at this list, it's a very long list, but kind of if you look kind of over to the left-hand side, there are 
constraints, graphics, dimensions, identity data, and other, well, all of those exist in this list. So you can either put it, filter it into one of those, or you can um, put it into something else. Uh, this is something that I think is a graphics related parameter, so I'm gonna put it there, and then hit okay, and then hit okay again. So um, you won't see it pop up here, but you will see it pop up in this menu, the family types menu. Now it has uh, a graphics column where it says hopper projection. I'll show you guys all of this again in between videos, I know. I, w I want you to just understand the concept and then I'll you know, help burn it into your brains. Um, anyway, so hit okay and then um, we can reload this family back into the project. So um, basically now I have the option where with these four windows um, I can select the ones that say uh, that are four feet wide that I don't want to show the hopper projection on and now I can uncheck them. Yeah, pretty cool, right? It seems like a small thing, but it's actually pretty <laughs> important and, and awesome. I swear it's awesome. All right, any questions? Yeah, you have to load it back in. Yeah. So when you clicked on that, um, that one button near the top that shows you the family properties? The family in the family? Yeah, this? Right yeah. Is that only accessible in the family editor? Yes. And what's the function of that? It just shows you. So this, this is your control panel for all of the parameters of that family. And, and most of the parameters get pushed through into the project when you select the family itself. Um, like if I select this here, you see I have hopper projection, I have level, sill height, um, head height. Also, um, you, you can hit edit type and certain ones will show up here as well. Okay, so this, like you'll see height, default sill height, width, and uh, window inset. Um, but in the family, you open this up and you've got all of that in one menu. Because um, there are certain ones that are, that are uh, how do I want to describe it? These are type parameters. Like, so a, a lot of them are type parameters. So in this menu, you get type parameters and you get your, your instance parameters. It's everything. But when you're in the project, you only get your instance parameters in this menu because you only have one item selected. If you want to change a type parameter, you go to the edit type and you change your type parameters. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay, great. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do real quick before I uh, move on here is I'm just going to add that little V. So I'm going to um, create a, another model line. And I'm going to go and make sure your object snap is working. And I'm just going to go from there to the midpoint to here and then um, reload that family in. All right. Oh, whoops. I didn't lock them, I think. Hang on. Pull that off. Go there. Uh, lock that. Lock that. Actually, I don't even know if this is going to be the right way to lock it. I don't lock these very much. Do you need to lock it? Just like you need to lock this. All right. Well, I'll fix that in just a second. But. 